You guys give a big warm welcome to Mr. Tom Meyer. Uh, they 
celebrate it sometime in July. I celebrate Cal Appreciation Day also. I celebrate it on a different day. I celebrate it on April 24th. That's my ex-girlfriend's birthday. <laughs> no, no, we, we got along when we were together. We really did. She was in all that role-playing stuff. Yeah, like late at night, we'd be alone. She would pretend that she was a Catholic schoolgirl. I would pretend that I loved her. <laughs> I'm actually very picky. Like, if you want to be my girlfriend, a couple of really major rules. Number one, if you want to be my girlfriend, you cannot smoke. All right? I don't smoke. I quit smoking a long time ago. I don't want my girlfriend to smoke. All right? I don't think women should be allowed to smoke at all. Okay? I'm not sexist. I just don't like the way it makes my laundry smell. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's the fact that they drop ashes all over the floor and then I have to make them vacuum again. <laughs> and if you want to be my girlfriend, ladies, do not get a ring for your nose. That is not sexy at all. Guys tell you what's sexy, they're lying. All right? If I'm at a bar and I see a woman with a ring through her nose, I don't know whether to hit on her and buy her a drink or wave a red cape in front of her and stab her with a sword. But if I'm in a kinky mood, all of the above. So I do this. I get to go on the. I get to go on tour. I get to go on the road. Do a lot of fun stuff. Uh, it's really enjoy it. But after this, I get to go home. I go home to my cat. Yes, I am a cat owner. I love my cat. My buddy, my amigo, my best friend is my soulmate. Love him. Why do I love him? Because cats are just like men. Cats are just like men. A lot of people have heard that. Oh, cats are a lot like women. Dogs are a lot like men. No. Dogs definitely like women. I know if I had a dog, just like a woman, as soon as I come home from this tour, a, a dog like a woman will be at the front door going, hi, 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 how was your tour? Why don't you tell me all about it, huh? Hey, guess what? My sister just called, she and her boyfriend just broke up, she's gonna take us out to dinner and tell us all about it. Ah! No, none of that. I have a cat, and a cat is a man's pet. Why? Because a cat acts like a man. Oh yeah, I know when I get home, my cat's gonna be sat down on the couch watching TV going, hey, what's up? You know, my food dish is empty, my fucking food dish is empty. And have you seen the state of my litter box? I know you don't flush the toilet, but at least clean mine out, you sick fuck. You do that, I'm gonna go ahead and watch TV. And no, I'm not changing the channel either. Well, I don't have thumbs, I can't, so. No, I'm not watching Animal Planet, you homo. I'm watching my favorite movie of all time, Old Yeller. Yeah, that's where my cat and I get along because we like movies where stuff that we detest die at the end. He likes Old Yeller because of what happens to that dog. And I like watching Titanic because of what happens to Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Sapphire, it's been an absolute pleasure. My name is Tom Myers. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you! Thank you. Give it over Tom. Give it over Tom Myers. Let him hear it. Yeah, he's running for president or something, though, huh? He gave you an extra bow. That hurt my back when he bowed like that, though. I can't even do that no more. Keep it going once again for Tom Myers. Y'all having a good time? Y'all all right? Like I said here at Sapphires, we have a plethora of entertainment right now. We have another comedian coming to the stage. Very, very funny dude from Baltimore, Maryland. He's performed all around the United States. I want you guys to give a warm welcome to Mr. Tom Myers. Seriously, Mom? 
They have slot machines at Denny's. You gamble enough when you go in there just to eat. Like, seriously, Mom, don't go to any place that has gambling. Like, she raised me Catholic, so I said, I tell you what, Mom, do me a favor, go ahead and find a Catholic seminary where I can stay at. And if I tell them I'm an altar boy, but the only place in Vegas where I can get a hand job for free. <laughs> Having a bit of fun, I'm actually on a tour. I spent the uh, previous weekend in Laughlin, Nevada. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Uh, uh, describe Laughlin, I would say picture Las Vegas, take away the strip clubs, and increase the average age by about 150 years. <laughs> Work the casino there, walk around, just checking it out. They had those signs that came up out of the wall, tell you where to go. It said uh, slots, cable games, keno, women, hello. I go ahead and get myself all psyched up, ready to go. I walk in there. Oh, it's the women's restroom. Let me tell you something. You do not want to walk in on a 97-year-old woman taking a shit. Especially if you have an erection. This is actually a very nice place. This is a very nice gentleman's club. I've been to some places that were not nice as this at all. I went to a strip club down in Alabama. Oh, yeah. I was sitting in front of one of those platforms where all the girls dance. And I was sitting right next to this guy the whole show. He was going. <laughs> Turns to me and says, see right up there? There's my daughter and my niece. Man, there was one girl up there. Driving through Alabama, I saw a sign that said, Welcome to Scumbia, Alabama, birthplace of Helen Keller. And wouldn't you know it, there was nothing to see there? Don't worry, they're not going to hear about it. <laughs> like Donnie said, I am, from, uh, I am from Baltimore, Maryland. Let me tell you a little bit about Maryland. Maryland is a tough state. It's a tough state. Our official state flower is the Black-Eyed Susan. You know you're from a really tough state when your official state flower sounds like a domestic violence victim? <laughs> but uh, I am from the Baltimore area. Uh, Baltimore is a big seafood town. So guys, you're in a bar in Baltimore. A woman starts talking to you. She invites you back to her place and she tells you she's got crabs. That's a good thing. Go home with her. Being from Baltimore, I'm happy that my uh, happy that my Ravens are Super Bowl champions. Real happy about that. I was excited the week up to the Super Bowl as well. I was walking around, I was wearing all my Ravens stuff, and some guy came up to me and said, "Hey man, how could you be supporting the Ravens? Don't you know they have Ray Lewis on their team? He broke the law. He deserves to go to jail. He should never play football again. Anyone who breaks the law never play football again." This guy was wearing a Michael Vick jersey. <laughs> But uh, Chick-fil-A is doing something now. They do it every year. They celebrate Cow Appreciation Day. It's after the little mascot. They celebrate it sometime in uh, July. I celebrate Cow Appreciation Day myself. I do it on a different day, though. I celebrate Cow Appreciation Day on uh, April 24th. It's my ex-girlfriend's birthday. <laughs> no, we got along, though. We really did. Uh, she was in all that role-playing stuff. Yeah, late at night. She would pretend she was a Catholic schoolgirl. I would pretend that I loved her. <laughs> Very picky about the kind of women that I date too. I mean, yeah, I've, I've been in relationships with all sorts of women, well, women whose cards I didn't find in those little uh, boxes just off the strip. <laughs> I'm actually very picky about the kind of women that I date. I really am. Like, if, you're, if you want to be my girlfriend, you cannot have a ring to your nose. Ladies, that look is not sexy at all. Okay? I don't care what your guy says, it is not sexy. If, I see a, if I'm in a bar and I see a girl with a ring through her nose, I don't know whether to buy her a drink and hit on her or wave a red cape in front of her and stab her with a sword. <laughs> but if I'm in a really kinky mood, all of the above. That's how I roll. And if you want to be my girlfriend, you cannot be a smoker, all right? I quit smoking years ago. I don't want my girlfriend to smoke. I actually do not believe women should be allowed to smoke, all right? 
I'm not being sexist, I just don't like the way it makes my laundry smell. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's the fact that she drops ashes all over the floor and then I have to make her vacuum again. <laughs> I actually respect women, I respect women a lot, I really do. One of my, one of my biggest heroes is a woman, Amelia Earhart. I respect any woman who does not stop to ask for directions. <laughs> what, is 80 years too soon, I think? Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I'm doing this tour right now, then I, get to, uh, then I get to go home. When I finish up, I get to go home to my cat. I love my cat, my best buddy, he's my soulmate. Love the guy, love him. Tell you why, because my cat is just like a man. Cats, just like men. And a lot of, a lot of people say, you know, oh, well, cats are a lot like women and uh, dogs are a lot like men. No, dogs are definitely like women. You get a good one, you snap your fingers, they'll do what they're told. <laughs> but I, I know if I had a dog, like just like, if I get home from this tour, just like a woman, that dog would be right at the door going, hi, 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 how was your tour? Tell me all about it, tell me every single detail, tell me everything you did out there. Hey, guess what? My sister just called, she and her boyfriend broke up. She's gonna come over here, spend all weekend with us and tell us all about it. Ah! No! No, I have a cat. Why? A cat is a man's pet because a cat acts like a man. Oh yeah, because I know as soon as I get home from this tour, no matter how long I'm gone, I know for certain my cat's gonna be sat right on my couch going, hey, what's up? You know my food dish is empty? My goddamn food dish is empty? Why don't you go in there and take care of that shit, huh? And have you seen my litter box? Have you seen how dirty that is? I know you don't flush the toilet, you sick fuck, but that doesn't mean you should have to clean mine out. Go in there, take care of that, I'm gonna sit here and watch TV. And no, I'm not changing the channel either. Well, I don't have thumbs, I can't, so. No, I'm not watching Animal Planet, you fucking idiot. I'm watching my favorite movie of all time, Old Yeller. Oh yeah. That's where my cat and I have in common. We both love watching movies where things we detest die at the end. He likes watching Old Yeller because of what happens to that dog. <laughs> and I like watching Titanic because of what happens to Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Listen, Sapphire, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Have a good rest of your evening. My name is Tom Myers. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Keep it going for Tom Myers. Let him hear it.